everyone, Mrs. Peterson, and I'm going to show you how to turn what we just uploaded into a Photoshop document saved in your file. So there are two different methods of doing this. So if the first one doesn't work for you, then try the second one. It just depends on if you're in Adobe Photoshop 20, 22, 23, or 24. Um, it works a little bit different. So you're going to go up here to your Photoshop main menu and you're going to go to file and we're going to go to save as if at all possible we're going to go to save as so this should work for most of you when you go to save as the coolest thing already is that it's going to be in your folder because we already placed the first picture in your folder and now it's going to save this document in your folder and that's great for future so you're going to put your first and last name and then dot, and then we're gonna call this portrait edit or photo edit, something like that. And notice that right now it's saved as a PSD, which is what you want. But if it doesn't say that, you're gonna go down to this drop down menu and you're gonna pick Photoshop. That's really what you want. You don't want any of these other things, you want Photoshop. And then you're gonna save it and it's, you go ahead and push OK, and look, it's saved as that document, and it even says PSD. So if that worked for you, great. If that didn't work for you, and you couldn't figure out how to do it, then you're going to save a copy, but it takes a few extra steps. Mm -hmm. So you would go up here to File, and instead of Save As, you're going to save a copy. So we go to Save a Copy. You're going to go ahead and put your first and last name and photo edit. And then we're not going to have that word in there because it wouldn't have come up yet. So when it says save a copy, there's a lot more options to choose from. See how many options there are to choose from. But again, you want to choose the Photoshop. And then you're going to push save because it's still going to be in your folder. But then there'll be one more thing that we do. So I'm going to call this number two so that you can see a different one because number one's already in there saved. So I'm going to save it. It's going to save it into my folder and I'm going to push OK. But for those of you who just did it, this right here will probably still want to have your name on it. And that's the issue because that means you'll be working in the wrong, the wrong document. So if you had to do the second method, go up here and X out of this right here, X out of it. And you can go file, open, and you're going to go and find your folder on the desktop. So if you go to a folder and you go to students and you find your name and then you find the pics folder and then you're going to find that the one that you want, which in this case, in the example that I just gave is, is this one here because I have two. You won't have two. You'll just have one. And when you pick that and you open it, then it will have the name of what you saved it. So if you're still working in Photoshop and it doesn't have it saved with your name, stop and do this. And then you can go on from there. All right. I love you. I miss you already. Go out and change your world for the better.